Rules define the types of events vitamin D should look for in a video, as well as the actions it should take when those events occur. A camera's default rule is to record any object moving in the video, but you can edit this rule or add another by clicking on it and selecting from the pop-up menu. You can also create rules in the search view by clicking on the plus icon to display the rule editor. Each block of the rule editor helps you customize certain aspects of your rule. When you click on a block, the settings are displayed on the panel on the right. In the first block, you can select the camera source, and if the image from the camera is too dark or unclear, you can use the arrows in the upper right to select a new image from a different time of day. In the second block, you can define what objects you're looking for. In this example, we'll just look for people. You can also tell vitamin D to ignore smaller objects such as people who are far away from the camera, small animals, and so on. The third block determines the location and direction of objects that vitamin D looks for. You can select anywhere in the video or create your own custom region by dragging the corners of the shaded area. You can add more corners to this shape or right click to delete corners or reset the shape to its default size. Although there are no doors in this example, vitamin D can also be set to record people entering or exiting the scene through a door, which is shown in other tutorials as well as on our website. Another option is to detect objects crossing a boundary. You can adjust the placement of the boundary line by clicking and dragging its endpoints. By clicking on the green arrow, you can tell vitamin D to look for objects crossing the boundary from either direction. When you create a region, you can tell vitamin D to look for objects inside, outside, entering, exiting, or on top of that area. In this case, we'll look for people on top of the region, meaning the bottom of the object is inside the shaded area. This is helpful when you want to distinguish, for example, between objects that are in front or behind versus actually on top of a road or sidewalk. If you have a lot of activity in your scene, you can filter out your results by looking for objects that are visible for more than a few seconds so that you can concentrate on objects or people that are lingering in the scene. You can change the name of your region, which also changes the name of the rule. If you don't like the automatically generated rule name, it can be changed by clicking on the customized name link where you can input your own rule name. The last box determines the actions vitamin D should take when it detects an event that matches the criteria you set in the previous boxes. You can save the clip to your computer or to an FTP server with the basic or pro editions. When the rule is triggered, you can also have vitamin D send you an email alert with a picture of the event or run a command line argument if you have the basic or pro edition. With any edition, vitamin D can be configured to play a sound when a rule is triggered. You can use one of the sounds in the pop-up menu or use your own custom or recorded sound. Creating rules filters through all the video footage collected from your camera to find exactly what you're looking for quickly. In this case, the rule only returns videos of people coming up to my front porch. For more information, please visit www.vitamindinc.com.